EU renounce British citizenship post-Brexit and after qualifying for an EU passport. In today's video, I'm going to be going over why, in my opinion, it's a bad idea to renounce British citizenship after getting Irish citizenship, for example, as I've had numerous comments over the past few months of people who have received Irish citizenship talking about how ever since they got the passport, they're never going to use their British passport again and they see no incentive to keep their nationality. And in my opinion, although yes, the argument is that as an Irish citizen, you're still going to be able to live in the UK due to the common and travel area agreements between the two countries. I still personally wouldn't give up my British passport if I was also an Irish citizen. Oh. Because while the argument is that it's more beneficial to travel to Europe especially with an Irish passport, and while I completely agree with that because Ireland is still in the European Union, I still think it might be a good idea to keep your British passport and here's why. Number one, let's just ignore Europe for a couple of seconds. Let's look at the international sector. Although I have made numerous videos comparing the British and the Irish passport towards one another, and although yes, when we look at the international sector, they are very similar, who knows which passport will be stronger in the future? Who knows which passport will have more visa-free access in the next five to 10 years? Maybe Ireland will lose visa-free access to a major country and maybe the UK will be able to keep it or maybe the UK will gain visa-free access to a country. If you're looking to maximize the amount of countries you've got visa-free access to, then I would definitely keep the British passport as well. Because although, yes, if I'm looking to go to Europe, I'm never going to use it. Still, what's the point of renouncing? What's the point of renouncing your nationality? Because although you can still live in the UK as an Irish citizen, if you have a British passport, I still feel like you have an extra layer of insurance. For example, let's say you're looking to travel to a non-EU country. Let's say you're looking to travel across the world, but there's a delay in renewing your Irish passport. Well, if you had renounced your British citizenship, you can't travel anywhere. But if you have kept your British citizenship and your British passport is still valid, you can still travel across the world with your British passport. And even vice versa, if there are delays in getting your British passport renewed, you can travel with your Irish passport. I don't really think it's a good idea to put all of your bets into one country. And even then, even though Ireland obviously will provide you a lot of benefits, especially if you're keen on getting access to the European Union, you never know what benefits the British passport may also offer you currently or maybe in the future. Maybe the British passport will offer you more incentives to go and live in the UK. Maybe the British passport is going to be better for you if you're living in the UK. So you don't have to worry about getting a permit here and a permit there. And although as an Irish citizen, you are still going to have free movement with the UK. You never know in 20 years what the borders will look like. And in my opinion, although I personally don't see the common travel area, ending anytime soon. I still think it's a good idea to keep as many passports as you can. And then people often talk about the extra cost of renewing a second passport. But in my opinion, this is a very privileged and Western problem. Because if you've got multiple passports, you're certainly at an advantage to most people across the world already. And I don't think it's a big deal having to pay to renew that second passport, whether it's a British passport, or an Irish passport or any other passport in the world. In my opinion, although I'm personally not an Irish citizen, that's not how I have access to the European Union. If I was an Irish citizen and I got Irish citizenship through the most popular route for British citizens, which is citizenship by descent, the last thing that I would ever think about is renouncing my British citizenship because now I would be a dual citizen and I wouldn't want to give up my initial passport just for the sake of now I have an Irish passport and it's going to provide me the UK and the EU. I would still keep the UK because you never know what will change in the future based upon passport strength, passport validity traveling across the world or maybe once again one of the passports could be delayed in their renewal. If you want to travel quickly you can still use your other passport as a backup. 